Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this one we're going to be taking a brief look at the Bearfang UV3R Plus which has been kindly sent to me by the guys over at GearBest.com. If you're interested in purchasing this radio I will leave a link in the description on where you can buy it. Now there are three main differences between the older UV3R and this Plus model. The differences are the battery, it's slightly different. The speaker mic now has the two dual connections, a bit like a Kenwood and other Baofeng radios, and the fact that it now ships with a drop-in desk charger. So unlike the old model, you used to have to plug in the power lead into the side of the radio. So this radio has a frequency range of 136 to 174 megahertz, and then 400 to 470 megahertz, which makes it ideal for use on amateur bands and PMR frequencies. The UV3R also has the ability to receive FM broadcast radio, for that's from 87 to 108 MHz. It has a storage of up to 99 memory channels, but unfortunately in this version there is no alpha tagging for each of those memory channels. It has useful frequency steps of 2.55, 5, 6.25, 10, 12.5, 20 and 25 kHz. The battery has a high capacity of 1500 mAh which is lithium iron and it has a rating of up to 10 hours is how long it will last. Now the output power is a modest 2 watts and that's both on 2 meters and 70 sems according to the specifications. So let's take a quick look at what's in the box. Now I'm quite aware in this day and age that unboxing videos are not as popular as they used to be and can be quite boring so I've just speeded this up so you can still see what's in the box but at uh, a much faster pace. As you'd expect you get everything that you're going to need, the charger, the antenna, the belt clip, a lanyard, the manual, the battery and the radio itself of course. So let's take a look at the programming and how we program this radio. So when it comes to programming the UV3R Plus, there's a couple of choices that you have with regards to software. You can either go ahead and use the factory software, which is what I'm showing you on the screen now, or you can go ahead and use Chirp. Now Chirp is a application for programming a whole range of different types of radios, different types, different makes, different models, etc, etc. But it has some really cool features. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and use Chirp. Okay, so rather than showing you two different software packages, I'm going to go straight into showing you how to use Chirp because it's going to be a lot easier for you. So first thing that we need to do is plug the radio into your computer using the USB cable. Now the USB cable plugs into your computer and the other end plugs into the side of the radio as shown here. Now once it's plugged in and you've turned the radio on, we now need to just find out which COM port that it's connected to. So if we go over to Device Manager and take a look at where it says COM ports. As long as you don't have any other USB to COM port adapters already plugged in, it should be the only one here. And as you can see, it's assigned itself COM4. So close that down and go back to Chirp. Now I'm going to read from the radio first. So it says download from radio. Now here, I'm selecting COM4, my vendor is Baofeng, and I'm selecting the UV3R model. Click OK. And at this point, it will start reading from the radio. Now if your radio is brand new and it's just come from the factory or your local reseller, then it's most likely not gonna have anything programmed of use. It's just gonna have a few test channels which the factory use for testing the radio before shipping. Okay, so in my case, I just have one channel programmed. So if you want to use this radio with your local repeaters, for example, there's a really easy way to get them all into the memory bank without having to type them all in. Go up to where it says radio, import from data source, select repeater book and repeater book proximity query. That will then bring up this little dialogue. Now I've typed in the town name of where I currently am the distance here in miles, so I've done 100 miles, and I've selected all bands. Now when I click OK, it will do a search on repeater book and bring back all of the repeaters that it finds within that search criteria. So what we can do is we can go down this list and we can untick the ones that we don't want. Now before you click OK, click this auto button here. Now what that will do is it will organize each of these repeater entries 
into your memory bank in order. See at the moment, if I was to click OK straight away, it would actually put GB3VA, which is here at number 18, to our memory bank 18. Well, we don't want that. We want it actually in channel one because it's the first one in our list. So if I press auto, it will now label the ones that we've ticked in order. So I click OK. And there we go, it's gone straight in. We now have all of those repeaters saved here. Now one thing to mention, the UV3R doesn't actually have the ability to store alphanumeric channel tags, which is slightly annoying because you kind of need to remember roughly which repeater is on which frequency, although it is quite handy because it does program all the tones in and all the offsets. Other things that we can do here, if we go into the settings tab, we can adjust our squelch level, we can adjust whether the LCD backlight is off, comes on when you press a key or continuous. We have dual watch box setting, squelch tail, battery saver, and we also have other options here like busy channel lockout, priority scanning. Now it does have a drop down here where it says frequency or channel mode. I find this a little bit strange considering that uh, we can't program in a channel name. So once you've populated your memory bank, then you can go ahead and send it to the radio. So you go to radio, upload to radio. Make sure that you've got the right COM port selected. The vendor and model will also be selected for you and grayed out because that is how we read the radio. And then click OK. Once it's finished downloading your radio reboot and you will now be able to turn it off and plug the cable, turn it back on and all of your memory channels that you've programmed into the software will be now stored on the radio. Using the UV button you can then enable it by holding the button down for 3 seconds and using the rotary control at the top you can go through each of your memories. Anyhow guys there we go that's the UV 3R Plus which was kindly sent to me from gearbest.com and if you guys have any questions please leave them down in the comments below. If you had this radio and tried it yourself then let me know your experiences with it. Personally I think it's a great little radio and I cannot believe how small it is. It's got to be one of the smallest dual band handhelds that I've ever used. Until the next video guys you take care and I'll see you in the next one.